Thank you so much for having an interview with us. We Thank really you for interviewing me. It's a pleasure. To your honour. Um, firstly, let's start with the most obvious. Um, Paul's been caught in a bit of a hiccup mm. on Neighbours. Just for those watching at home, can you update us with Paul's current situation? Um, yeah, he's, he's in a hell of a pickle because he's, uh, he's about to go down for uh, murder, basically. Caught the uh, cause of the explosion, the last of his explosion, and um, he's he's facing an 18 year jail term. Um, and even if he's a good boy, he's still going to uh, serve 14 years. And uh, so you know, but at this stage in Paul's life, he's pretty much given up. It's for the first time ever you've seen you have you you are witnessing a defeated Paul, a totally defeated Paul. He's uh, you know for the the man who who is the eternal optimist when it comes to uh, being able to uh, being able to overcome anything. He's just he, he gives up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with the evidence and his actions stacked up against him, what have you found most interesting about his current predicament? Um, I think the, the, the most fascinating is the fact that he he decides to do a run at it right at the last second. He, uh, you know, he's already he's been found with incriminating evidence, damning evidence in his briefcase. Uh, he he scrubbed the CCT footage, which uh, showed him going down the stairwell. Um, he is now known to have hired uh, Cecilia to uh, mess things up a bit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the death's knock, he, he decides to sort of jump bail, skip bail, which you know, puts Steph in a, a terrible predicament as well, because um, she's about to lose not only her livelihood with the motel, but also the, the, uh, her son. You know, it means she's going to lose her son, which she's fought so hard to, to regain the relationship and the, and the custody of her son. Um, and uh, so, you know, he's, he, he, it's just everything. He's, he's been a very, very stupid boy. Um, so it's no wonder when the jury is faced with all of this evidence, it, you know, as I say, it's incredibly damning that they're just going to go, mate, you're guilty. No ifs, buts, or maybes about it, yeah. Um, how do you think Paul's going to react to the charges when they're dropped? Is he a revengeful man? Uh, yeah, I, I, we're talking about Paul Robinson here. Yeah. Paul never forgives. Paul never forgets and never forgives and he's even he's he's the uh, he's the cheshire cat you know he'll smile this huge grin while just twisting a knife in your back because you if you just paul's not somebody you cross he remembers forever and he'll he'll let you get away with it for a long time you know it might be years later and then all of a sudden you know in the middle of the night oh, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> what's been the most funnest moment on set with your colleagues oh, I mean, there's lots, but if you could pick one. I don't know, I don't know. That's, that's oh. the most difficult question that's ever asked of me. In okay. years. And I should have, you know, after all of these years, I should have an answer. And I get flummoxed by it every single time. I don't know. The most fun, just going to work and, and you know, it, having fun with what I do. I'm, I, I love the crew, I love the cast. I hope they like me as much. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we just get up to naughtiness all the day, you know. We... we I think it sounds very childish, no. but, but some of the fun that I have is I'm, I'm notorious both myself and Fletch. I mean, we're just big kids sometimes. We, you know, we hide and jump out, boo, at people when they're walking walking down the corridor. And, you know, it's silly, it's childish, but God, it's great fun. <laughs>